They say that only the incredibly brave or incredibly foolish make their home in Morningdale. It's a region where rain is a constant companion, and if sodden boots aren't enough to slow you down, then the wretched creatures that stalk its many ruins will surely hinder you. Yet, in spite of its dank, dark atmosphere, there is beauty to be found here. From the enormous, extravagant statues greeting sailors at New Balefire to its unique flora and fauna, Morningdale hides many of its treasures, and only the dedicated explorers will unearth everything there is to see. Your first stop in the territory will surely be Morningdale Hamlet, a small settlement in the center of the region. Despite the many trials and tribulations the land presents, just ask survivalist Fletcher. The people here have built a home for themselves, with plenty of houses available if you want to start your own life here. Morningdale Hamlet is an oasis in a vast region of torment and you should spend your time in these ruined walls, gathering equipment and preparing yourself for the wilds beyond. There are tools available for those who wish to craft their own gear, or you can check in at the trading post if you've got the coin to spare. Venture south of the hamlet and you'll uncover some of the many ancient ruins that the region is known for. Now flooded by the endless rain, the ruins of Sabra, Masik and Karaka fascinate explorers and scholars alike. But tread carefully, as ancient guardians will do all they can to preserve and protect these landmarks from interlopers. To the southeast is Morningdale Fort, built on the beach to provide cover from both the land and sea. Any invading factions will need to control this location. But it won't be easy to take down. There's very little cover on the beaches and a hill to climb without getting cut down by turrets. May the winds blow in your favor. Venture up the eastern beaches to the north of Morningdale and you'll come across New Balefire, an imposing port with extravagant sculptures looking out across the sea. This port of the ancients is now overrun with corrupted and the stonework has been worn away from combat. So be sure to watch your step, lest you fall into the dark waters below. Gildan seems to know something about this port. Perhaps she can tell you more. You'll also notice ancient towers across the territory, but only the bravest of warriors will want to get within a stone's throw of Scorpius. The corrupted have also made a home for themselves here, and they'll fight tooth and nail to keep you out. With the Ancients and Corrupted battling for a stronghold across Morningdale, you're likely to encounter their kind wherever you set foot. But you'll also need to be wary of the bears in the forests and even the boars on the main roads. Each is as furious and deadly as the last. It can also be quite hard to see what's ahead with the driving rain that this region is known for. Keep your eyes keen, and if you must make camp, ensure you've got a roof over your head. So, why venture into this forsaken landscape if all that faces you is death and dirt? There's also talk of weirdwood trees across this patch of land. Though only expert loggers will know how to harvest the mysterious wood and sap from this particular plant. No matter how you look at it, Morningdale remains a fascinating area of Eternum to explore. Its ancient ruins and impressive stone structures are as awe-inspiring as they are daunting, and those that have chosen to live here have carved a charming home out of a demanding territory. If you're prepared to fight through the rain and the corrupted, perhaps you too could find a new life in Morningdale. <laughs>